So let's go into our Add Modify Company form and add the logic behind the OK button click. Let's create a string company ID equals text box one dot text dot two string. String company name equals text box two dot text dot two string and string company email equals text box three dot text dot two string and string company size text box four dot text Create a data table. Table equals company tracker data set. Dot tables company so if current row is null, then it means we are adding a new record. So current row equals table dot new row. Current row company ID equals text box one dot text dot two string. And table dot rows dot add current row. So current row dot begin edit current row. ID equals company ID current row company name equals company name current row email spelling is important company email behind the cancel let's just be a simple close so, so now let's go back to our our form main form and code the logic behind our add button double click it and we'll go add modify company add company equals new Add modify company and we're going to pass it the company tracker data set. Add company dot show dialog. Let's go back and add our logic to our modify button click. We get an object 
equal ID equal data grid view dot current row dot cells company ID dot value Get a data row company row equals company tracker data set dot tables company dot rows dot find and ID so add modify company modify company equals new and we're going to pass it to data set comma company row then modify dot show dialog and let's add the logic for our delete button Add a dialog result equals message box dot show are you sure? if result equals dialog result dot yes then we're going to delete the row object ID equals data grid view dot current row dot cells company ID dot value data row current row equals company tracker data set dot tables company dot rows dot find ID current row dot delete and run it. Let's add company ID thirteen PLC Inc. email one thousand people. There you go can modify it it's 500 they want a comma and a period there you go and delete let's delete this one yes and what's happening here is we're only adding modifying and deleting from the data set none of these changes are permanently made on the database yet